Hello, we're here today to talk about the Rail Baltica project in the uh, context of the Baltic states. I'm joined today by uh, Mr. Uh, Ivari Pader, a member of European Parliament from Estonia, and a member from European Parliament from Latvia, Mr. Robert Zila. Hello. Um, Mr. Uh, Pader, uh, well, the transport ministers of the Baltic states uh, have recently reached an agreement about the creation of a single company that will specifically deal with the Rail Baltica project. Well, what are the next steps to be taken and what can we expect, uh, well, when can we expect that the Rail Baltica project, well, the next significant steps will be taken? So that, uh, in first, of course, all, not only three, this is five yeah. governments. This is Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Finland. This is, I think this is, uh, this is uh, for five countries very important and of course very important project for all Europe and all world, for global world, if you want it. <laughs> but uh, of course uh, um, uh, all governments must uh, make their steps what they promised. And, uh, and of course, uh, this is uh, 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 two important aspects. First aspect is so that, uh, uh, that um, to start so quickly uh, how is possible in uh, every country uh, uh, with prayer works. Prayer works what we need uh, uh, to, to fulfill this project. It's about real estate uh, environment uh, uh, aspects, uh, all these aspects. This is a uh, very important work and uh, in Estonia we started and we planned uh, uh, for this work so approximately now 15 million euros uh, uh, our, our uh, budget resources to, to, to make this uh, work. Second of course uh, is a very important issue is, is to make a common company and to start this common company and to, to make uh, a uh, so so uh, quickly how it's possibly is a project for uh, for uh, uh, Europe so that, uh, so that, uh, uh, and, and with, is, with all these works it's it's it's, uh, it's very helpful if we are with this uh, uh, with this this um, prayer works ready in this year to start to start in next year so that, uh, that this is of course uh, uh, hard exercise for cameramen to make this quickly yeah, from my point of view, I just would like to say uh, I, I'm nine years already now in Transport Committee in European mm -hmm. Parliament. Mm -hmm. Before I also the government in the same position, I just would like to say we we'll start with a f couple of com compliments to Estonians. The one is that you have, a, I to my mind, a very important portfolio commissioner who is in Kallas in this yeah. field. And I, without him, I think if we didn't speak about Rail Baltica project yes, today. I mean, high speed trains, the yes. second, Royal Baltic II. Uh, the second thing, I think it's very important that our former colleague here in, in European Parliament, now President of the State of Estonia, Thomas Henry Hilves, is playing, I think, very significant role in this supporting of this project. Also, is coming to our President uh, Andres Berzinc with train by current r route, which is very, which was very difficult actually to, to do it. To, sh to show that it's politically important. The second thing, uh, the second uh, after the compliments, I would like to say is that we, what we know today, we, we know that we have a uh, money for this project from connecting Europe facility. That means that we can expect until 85% of co-financing coming from EU taxpayers' money. That's a significant amount of money. That support is already, we, 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 we jointly we were fighting for that and we got it, I think. Uh, that's mean what, what we have to do in our homeworks in our uh, all five countries, in particular in our three Baltic states, is more important. We have to create uh, stakeholders for this project. Mm -hmm. which does, currently, we don't have a stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And yes. the only stakeholder which we can start, not only three ministries of transport and communications, we can start uh, with a joint venture with the common enterprises, as uh, you already said. And in that case, there is somebody who is creating all the work. Mm -hmm. yes. Because today, in the railway undertakings, current, so conventional railway undertakings, in case of Latvia, they said, look, we are not supporting this project, we are uh, staying away of it. I, I suppose not very interesting also from Estonian railway undertakings or is the Lithuanians. That means we cannot expect uh, to be stakeholders from their side. That's why we have to, uh, on, from, to go top down. Not to wait on uh, stakeholders will ask who creates this project. It's, it's a very different geopolitical project. Absolutely. But of course, with a huge efficiency in the future, as visibility study already showed. 
Yes, that, uh, this is a great possibility. Great possibility now that we have uh, uh, great possibility with European Union support to make this project. Uh, it play very large influence uh, for all five countries, I, I, I believe, to, uh, to, to have a direct connection and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, of course, that, uh, let's, let's push our governments to, uh, to make better from our side in Parliament. Uh, uh, we are ready to support. Well, some argue that this project does not make much economic sense. How do you address that? Well, it's, it's like a chicken and egg situation uh, because you don't have a stakeholders, you don't have a currently opportunities to, to move freight or passengers quickly. You, technically, you can move it, but uh, it's, it's, it's so long and it's so difficult to, uh, to arrange with uh, all technical barriers uh, between. For example, when Thomas Henrik Ilves came to our president, they checked the locomotive from Estonia. Mm -hmm. Is it a load on field check? Mm -hmm. they, they moved the Estonian locomotive to Latvian railway to check is it safe to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a crazy system. It shows that there is uh, no possibility to move by railway, mm -hmm. current railway. Mm -hmm. Freight, or I'm not talking about passengers, mm -hmm. because passengers will move for uh, 24 hours or something like that in mm -hmm. case from, from, from Tallinn to Vilnius, yeah, technically. Yes, to Kaunas, yeah. Of course, yes. <coughs> uh, now, now I understand that we have this American new locomotives. <laughs> it was what's no, no, but, but that's, a, that's the current situation. That I think it, uh, we, we cannot say uh, that we expect that freight will move and passengers will move. Uh, because if, the, if you can c come according feasibility study from Tallinn to the Lat Lithuania, the uh, Polish border, than four hours, ten minutes, that's a good time for passenger trains and for railway. For freight is not necessary so much, but freight is already demanding. If you look via Baltic Road, mm -hmm. uh, we have in Latvia at least calculations that the tracks are going even more than riga port direction to Russian mm -hmm. border. Mm -hmm. That means it's much more intensively used by tracks. Tracks mean also freight. That means there is demand then, and it will come. And also feasibility study of our com uh, company, which they made the first one, they show that would be demand for both for freight and yes. passengers. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Petter, do you feel that the Russian influence is somehow undermining the project? And do you think it could also pose a threat in the future? Uh, our geopolitical situation is uh, so what it is. And of course, in, in all great politics, of course, uh, uh, we must uh, 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 accept uh, uh, Russian influences and, and, and Russian interests. That, <laughs> that, that it's it's reality and this is fact. But uh, but uh, uh, personally, I I am very positive that I think that like this in railway projects that that we can to make uh, a project what uh, what is a common interest, so European interest and Russian interest. That, uh, that of course that, uh, that for our interest is, is, is to hold same like Tallinn Saint Petersburg uh, uh, line to a Riga uh, uh, Moscow line that, uh, 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 I think that this is a future must be this is a very linked connection very linked connection and and, and, and uh, we can to make to places like in win-win situation all is winners Would you like to add something again? No, I think uh, I think uh, it's uh, well. I just would like to maybe finalize this, this my opinion on this whole geopolitical decision also on transport sector. Uh, well, my political when I came to politics many years ago in late eighties, yes, and as many uh, perhaps even as well, you are younger than me. But but I didn't have another option that we as soon as we as an independent country received the opportunities to re to renew our states. Mm -hmm and then to follow up the Western direction. Mm -hmm. Then we have to do everything as a politicians to keep it as a main aim. And yes. I am doing all my political lives the same. And I will continue as much as possible. And I'm very glad that I would say, Ivory, of course, and I, I think in general, all your Estonian colleagues here in the yes, European actually. Parliament think the same direction. Not all of Latvians, yeah. I would say so. <laughs> but it's a different story. Yeah, it's life. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen.